Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today's session, I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly agriculture precision in remote sensing. So today's session, I will try to discuss about that how we can easily crop growth tracking or crop growth monitoring using remote sensing technique in Google Earth Engine. So I will try to explain all of things about this topic and how we can easily tracking the different types of states and for crop monitoring and also try to discuss about that time series chart so basically in this case i try to use the normalized difference vegetation index and further we try to observe the different states how the vegetation is changed so let's go i will show you that practice code then i hope you can easily get this idea how it will be work so you can see this is the code for that crop growth monitoring so basically first of all we uh, we selecting a region of interest mainly we select the crop land area and in this crop land area we try to make a polygon okay. and then further we simply import our sentinel 2 satellite imagery so in this case i use at the sentinel 2 uh, top of atmosphere reflectance satellite data and further i simply put my time period okay so this time period uh, I try to put in here and I take all of uh, imagery. So this is less than 10% cloud cover from this in this collection. So this is my imagery. So this imagery I want to use for the monitor the crop growth for different states. So after that, we simply calculate the NDVI. So in this case, I try to make the NDVI formula mainly near infrared band minus near uh, red band divided by near infrared band plus red band so that's why i simply use a function normalize difference function and create the band of ndvi so for that this fun band i simply connecting with my image collection this image collection i already created in here with sentinel 2 so just i simply connecting with this image collection with a um, calculate ndvi i calculate in here can see this is my collection name i simply connecting with my uh function variable name calculate ndvi so now this ndvi band is successfully connected with our image collection so now if i just simply check the time series chart for this uh ndvi for this given time period so then i can get this type of time series chart so here you can see this is the time series chart so from the chart we can get this early stage so basically this is the early stage basically it's a uh mainly plantation stage then we also get about that uh growing season so basically in the growing season we find out that high ndvi value you can see about the growing season and then we also get the uh late season mainly it's a harvesting time we find out the low ndvi value so basically this is the way we can easily tracking our cropland growth and we can easily identify how what the status about that cropland here you can see basically in the first step uh, it's a early stage or it also called about the plantation stage so just we find out the plantation stage suppose here you can see the uh, 3rd february from 15 march okay after that it also increasing the growing season we find out that this type of value so you can see we can get the high NDVI value between this time period in increasing and at the harvesting time it also increase uh, decreasing NDVI value so here you can see we can get it may to you can get that may to you can see the june so this time period so basically this uh time stage will be different for the different uh country base so in this case i try to focus on bangladesh study area so for that we are just simply uh displaying this type of early season or mid season or late season okay, so basically early season is the plantation season mid season is the growing season and late season is that harvesting season we consider in this time so far we simply create this type of time period for our different uh season for that plantation stage or also put here that your growing season and then we also get about that harvesting season okay, and further we also try to display this map this type of map so here you can see we find out this type of map so basically in the early season so this is the condition for the early season in a crop plant so in this time we find out that low vegetation mainly low vegetation pixel value 
but that it's the just planted this type of uh crop or tree it just planted and further we find out that mid season so basically it's that identify about that uh growing season so in this study we find out that vegetation increasing we find out that it increased the ndvi pixel value and late season mainly it's our um indicating about that the harvested okay this type of things we can easily monitor they are map as well as we can also monitor the time series chart from here so we can easily create this type of time series chart and from this time series chart we can easily uh tracking the crop growth as well as we also find out that different types of esters so this is the process using the ndvi to monitor the crop growth tracking you can easily do it you can also try to for your own study area also in the meantime i also give you an announcement for upcoming online training program so basically if you want to learn the complete online training on google earth engine for remote sensing and gis analysis for beginners to advanced level so our next training program will be start from 20 september so now this registration is the open if you want to join this online training program simply you can contact in our whatsapp number and also contact with this email so i already give all of information in the video description as well as if you want you can also contact um you can easily get all of information from this website also so here you can see all of details for our upcoming online training program all of course content you can easily find out so basically this online training program we just focus for beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the programming language such as javascript or python so i hope after completing this online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the google earth engine so here you can see all of course content you try to read all of course content for first day second day third day fourth day fifth day sixth day and seventh day so basically these are three hours live training program and one hours for the problem solving class okay so basically each day you get total four hours so three hours for mainly live training and one hours for the problem solving and when you want to join this live training program you can get some benefits such as you can get that course e certificate after submitting all of assignment as well as you also get all of materials mainly slide or pdf you can get all of practice code so you can easily practice using all of practice code and you can get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training program then you can easily cover using this recorded class as well as you also get the lifetime teaching support so basically as a beginner when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problem so that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support so after completing this total seven days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue in remote sensing or any issue in your code you can get the lifetime teaching support okay so if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email and then further book your seat and if you want to get the 50 percent discount on this online training program so as soon as possible book your seat and join our google classroom and whatsapp group so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe